Hi, this is Grace Pamela at Summerana.com and I wanted to show you a video tutorial today on how to make um, dramatic black and white images. So I'm just going to show you a few steps that I use that are my favorite and this is without using any actions. Um, as you can see here, this image is already absolutely gorgeous, but I kind of want it to be a, a dark black and white, very dramatic photo. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Gradient Map and I'm going to select it. If you don't see your adjustments up here, you can go to Window and select Adjustments and make sure it's checkmarked there. That will show it in your um, layer palette over here. So you can go ahead and select Gradient Map and here, the first one that's in here will show up. So this one for some reason is set as this. So what you'll want to do is you want to click this bar go in and actually select the black and white one. If you don't see a black and white one, you can create one by going to, you can select any one of these and then just change the colors down here. So over on this side of the slider, you'll see it's black for the shadows and this side is white for the highlights. You can double click these little pointers here to change the colors completely. So for now, we're gonna use black and white. To make it more dramatic, you can adjust these sliders to bring up the shadows and the highlights. So this is working on the highlights. You can see the, the lighter parts getting brighter. And then once you're done you can go ahead and select OK. You can also adjust the opacity just slightly, um, especially if you duplicate it. You can right click duplicate and that's usually when I like to adjust the opacity just so it, it's definitely black and white. But then you can make it even more intense. Another thing you can do is you can go up to levels and you can adjust the highlights and the shadows there as well if you want additional. So one more thing that I want to show you is dodging and burning. It's very important for creating more depth in your images, especially black and white. So what you want to do is go to layer, new, and then you want to select the blending mode to be overlay or soft light. It doesn't really matter that much. You can play with the different effects. Overlay will be stronger than soft light, but you can always duplicate the soft light one to also be as strong, so whichever one you prefer. And then you can go ahead and select uh, fill with soft light neutral color. 50% gray. You want to make sure that box is selected. And then you can select OK. And you can bring it up here, and I'm going to name this one Burn. And then I'm going to go ahead and right click and duplicate that layer, or you can just go ahead and go up to layer and create another one. This one I'm going to label dodge. There we go. Okay, so now I have my dodge and burn. I'm going to go over and grab my actual dodge and burn tools. So you just need to right click this little hand here. It might it might be it might look like this or it might look like this. Just depends on whatever settings you had on uh, previously. So I'm going to go ahead and select my dodge tool. I'm going to select the range to be midtones. And my exposure, it can be whatever you want. It just depends on how dark uh, you want your effect to be, how dramatic. Once you have that, you can go ahead and color, you can paint right on this gray layer here and just go over all the highlights in your image. Now, since it's in black and white right now, it's going to really show you where the highlights are. It's going to be a lot easier to tell than if it were in color. You want to go over arms, um, clothing, anything you really want to bring a lot of attention to because you'll be drawing, you'll be painting your uh, shadows and your burning alongside your highlights. That's what creates the dramatic contrast and depth. And you also don't want to just get your subject. You want to get um, more of your image also. So all the highlights, you can really get a dramatic black and white photo. Okay, so I have a pretty good start here. Um, 
you can definitely go in and play more. I'm just going to show you really quick how to do it this way. Now, I'm not entirely doing this background because I kind of don't want all the focus to be there. I want most of it to be over here. But you can definitely play around and do more over here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go down to my burn layer. I'm going to right click and select my burn tool. Again, mid-tones and whatever exposure you want it to be. And then you're going to want to paint over the shadows in the dark spots next to your highlights. Okay, so here is my burn layer. It's a little too dramatic, so I'm going to bring the opacity down a bit. And if you see a mistake where you don't really like it, you can either just grab your eraser tool brush, or you can... Let me show you. Here's the eraser tool. Uh, you just select that, and you can erase it completely off. Or you can just add a layer mask and paint with a soft black paintbrush to brush it off. And then that way, um, if there's any mistakes that you make, you can erase it easily. Okay, so one more thing that I like to do is I like to go to New Fill Layer, Solid Color, Normal, and lower the opacity. Select OK, and I'm gonna select a black. I'm gonna bring it right on top here. And I'm going to invert that layer by selecting Control or Command I on my keyboard. Then I'm going to go ahead and select a soft white paintbrush. And to make sure it's soft, you can click this button up here and set the hardness at zero. Now, in order to really make my subject pop, I like to darken the background around here, kind of like a vignette. And you can adjust the opacity. And this will help make the attention go more towards her. So there we have our black and white and lots of really easy uh, steps that you can do to really make your images stand out. So I'm just going to show you really quick. Here is a before and after before and after. I hope you learned lots and thank you so much for watching.